Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how to load the HDRP or High Definition Rendering Pipeline to a brand new Unity project. Some people have been having trouble uh, using the template, which is this one right here. And so I'm just going to show you how to add it to a brand new project. Uh, it, it's not too complicated. Make sure, uh, there's a couple of things we need to take into account. So. First, you need to be on the 3D template, which, because you're going to make a 3D game. And just give it a name, HDRP test. And that is it. The other thing that you need to do, and this is a must, is you have to have installed a Unity version that is higher than 2018.2. So if you have anything that's 2018.1 or just 2018, or any of the other um, older versions, 2017, this isn't going to work. So you need to have Unity 2018.2 and beyond for this to work. So just make sure you have the latest version installed. So once we, uh, just getting that out of the way, I have to create my project again. I'm just going to create a project and Unity is going to load and do its things and I'll be right back once the project has loaded up. All right, here we are in Unity. This is a brand new project, so it's completely blank. There isn't anything in it. And this is just a bare 3D project. This is on the 3D, uh, the HDR uh, template. So we're just gonna add it manually. And the way we're gonna do that is by first going to Windows, and we have this Package Manager it used to be that you will go into the asset store and download this kind of stuff, but now that we have the package manager, uh, might as well use it. So you're going to see that in project, we don't have the HDRP package. So we're going to add it manually. You go into all and you scroll down and you can see we have all these that we don't have in our project. So the main is the core, which of course you're going to need the second one is the HDRP pipeline per se, which is also the one we're going to download. Uh, this third one right here is the lightweight pipeline. This is something that is used for some mobile games, which we're not going to use. And the shader graph, which is uh, how to make your shaders and it's a lot more complicated. So the ones that you are going to download are these two, render pipeline and HDRP. So I'm going to render pipeline and make sure I'm on the latest version. So yes, it's 3.0. And this is a version that I'm going to install. So I click install. And it's going to install it. And that takes a little bit, so I'll be right back. Okay, so as you can see, once it's done, it adds the package into our in-project packages. So I'm going to go back and I'm going to install the HDRP rendering pipeline. And again, let me check that we are on the latest version and I'm going to click install. All right, I have to cut the video because that took a little bit. And as you can see, we have the HD rendering pipeline and the rendering pipeline core. The one last thing that we're going to add, because I, I want to show you this, is the post processing. So we're going to add the post processing stack. This is the new version. If you've used the old version that comes from the store, um, actually, I haven't been to the store, but I recommend using the package manager. This is the new, so this is the new version that you're going to see. And let's see, yeah, we are on 20.2.12, which is the latest one. And we're going to install this one as well. Okay, the first thing that we are going to do is create an HDRP asset. So the way to do that is go to your, uh, the part where you have all your asset, right click in there go to create and you're going to look for something that's called rendering and you're going to use high definition render pipeline asset uh, not resource you're going to change you're going to choose asset so click here give it a name so we're going to do hdrp plus enter and it's going to give you all these uh, settings and i'm actually going to leave them by default because we're not going to mess with those yet and the next thing that I'm going to do is go to edit project settings graphics and we are going to add the HDRP asset that we were just created we are going to throw it in here 
and that's going to make our screen completely black. The next thing that we are going to do is go back to edit, go to um, project settings, go to player, and we are going to change our color space from gamma to linear. Okay, and we are still in uh, in gray, so that that did help, but that's not the end of it. The other thing that we need to do then is go here into our hierarchy tab, right click and go to rendering, and you are going to create scene settings. Okay, and we're gonna get this problem. So there there seems to be a bug at the moment of recording this video that generates this problem and the way to get around that bug is just by restarting Unity. So what I'm going to do is close out of Unity and I'm going to restart the project. And remember to save. Alright, so here I am in my project that I created. And as you can see, the black uh, problem that we were having right here, the black line went off. That's just a bug that I don't understand what's going on. But it does happen every time you try to use the HDRP. And it also happens when you use the template. So if you're using the template and you find that everything is black, just restart your project and that should take care of it. So the next thing that we are going to do that I want to show you, this is how to set up the HDRP. Um, our rendering pipeline is pretty much set up. So if, you, if I were to go and to create a material, you're going to see that this material already has the HDRP shader on it. So we're pretty much inside the uh, HDRP pipeline or the HD pipeline, if you want to call it that. So uh, another thing that I wanted to show you guys in this video is how to add the post processing effect, because the way you add the post processing effect in here uh, with this new rendering pipeline, it's a little bit different than we used to with the post processing stack. Actually, it's the same asset. They just changed it a little bit. So the way that we're going to add this is you go to your camera. Um, the, this is the only camera I have, so go to whatever camera you've created. And you're going to add a component. So in here in component, you're going to add a post-processing layer. And as you can see, it's going to give you this exclamation error. No layer has been set to the trigger will never be affected. So you're going to change this layer to post-processing. All right. And then we are going to change the layer in the top here. We are still on our camera. We're just going to change the layer here to post-processing as well. All right. Now you can play around with uh, the anti-aliasing. We have the anti-aliasing right here. So I'm going to throw that in there. And I'm going to add a post-process volume. So I click here. And the post-process volume requires a script. So unless you have already some profiles within your scene, uh, you will need to create a new one. So just click here on new. And that's going to create a profile for you. So if you double click here, it's going to take you straight to where that profile is. So uh, as, if you see there is nothing within that profile, if you see in the specter, it says no override set to this volume. So if you click on this button and go to Unity, you're going to see all the effects that you can add to this post-processing volume. So we have ambient occlusion, auto exposure, bloom, chromatic aberration, so on and so forth. So you can start adding the effects that you want. So uh, I'm just going to add the usual suspects that I have in every, any, every project that I make. So it's ambient occlusion, bloom, and color grading. I mean, Occlusion and Bloom, it, it's not going to react too much now because there are no assets on the scene. But, um, oh, one of the things that you see once you have the HD uh, rendering pipeline is you see that the sun, uh, it's a little bit different than it used to be. Okay, so let's, let's start changing uh, parameters here. So let's, let's play the, with the Bloom. Let's just... Uh, Yeah, so as you can see, nothing changed that much because we don't have any assets that are uh, producing light right now. Um, the one that I like to use just to test that everything is going okay is the color grading. So the color grading, I like to use the uh, ACS Tone Mapper. And let's play with the temperature. So let's put the temperature very, very negative. 
that's going to really affect our environment. But you're going to see that nothing is happening. So the reason why nothing is happening is because we have to tell the, the post-processing volume that it is global. So the way that I have this set up right now is so that it works per camera. If you want it to work for the whole environment, you need to click on is global. And as you can see, now everything changed. So if I go back to my uh, profile, then you can see that everything is getting affected by what we do here. So this is a good way to test just to make sure that everything is working. Uh, I like to use color grading. So with color grading, you can change the temperature of your environment. And as you can see, everything is being affected. And it, it's all because we told the post-processing volume script on the main camera that is global. That means it's going to affect absolutely everything that's in the game. So if you want a general setup for your game or your environment, you need to set it to is global. And again, I like to use the ACES uh, mode just because that gives me a little bit, you know, more realistic kind of colors. Because let me show you what happens if I turn this off. And you can see the image looks a little bit washed out. So if I turn it on, uh, I get a lot of more contrast. I get a lot more colors. And again, just to test this, just move your temperature. And this should tell you if you successfully installed the HDRP. All right. I'll see you in another tutorial.